third. In this, I just want to make sure we're good to go. Oh, hello. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold on. Hold on. We're almost there. We're almost there. There we go. One of them. Oh, we're up and running. Look at that. Marvellous. Oh, I love this. Good stuff. Right, marvellous. We're up and going. So it's the worst at the beginning. Now, thank you very much for joining me this afternoon for a little, uh, a little workout session. We're not going to go mad. Um, thank you for all your comments about yesterday, the first one. Uh, or not yesterday, day before yesterday. It gave you a day off yesterday. Um, brilliant. Thank you very much. I'd like to say a huge hello to Lee from the US of A. Lo Sir, it's lovely to welcome you in and I hope you're enjoying the dance classes and our little afternoon uh, workout session. Great to hear from you. So what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, gently. Um, I think I'll be excited the other day. I want to be able to went too fast. So I'm going to go a little gentler and we're not going to, we're not going to kill ourselves. Again, just gentle warm-ups. I, uh, I was working with my trainer, uh, Jessica. I was telling you about Jessica the other day. She's absolutely amazing. And uh, so everything we're doing here is in conjunction with her, my personal trainer. And uh, if you'd like to sort of have a, have a, a, a sort of mooch into her website, go ahead, Jessica Blake, and uh, you'll find her. So I'm just, we're just doing this just to get warmed up. This is, as I said the other day, these sorts of things are things that I do before I'm going to uh, perform. If I've been in a car, driving from somewhere to a, a venue somewhere, maybe home to a, to a theatre to do a show or even if I've been sat around at television centre before I'm going to go on and perform in the evening, one of the professional group numbers, which is a bit more high energy, um, then I'll take a bit of time just to warm up, just to get a bit loose. So nothing, nothing too strenuous, but just enough to get us going. So just do these turns, just to sort of loosen, loosen your back. Just let them swing. I like the momentum and the feeling of the arm swing, just helping me st uh, uh, turn my turn my body really just loosening up the this part here the the uh the the back area i'm going to give it the technical name but why bother so we're just doing this and this and this and this good stuff here we go and now we're going to do a couple of side stretches actually we're going to do just a couple of rotations i like doing things that rotate like this just rotate the arms here six I would do everything in eights, by the way. I say that like we've been doing it forever. We've only done it one day. But because I'm a dancer, everything comes in eights. Unfortunately, sometimes we have to do two lots of eight. We're going the other way now. I don't know how many we did of those. I was chatting. But that's my propensity to chat. I do like a good chat. I won't deny it. Here we go. And I'm just, just keeping everything loose. Don't feel like you're trying to create great technique with this. This is just loosening everything up and getting the, uh, getting the heart rate up just a little bit because we don't go into any of this stuff cold. And also just twisting everything down here, this just allows my hips to start to twist a little bit as well, because I don't know if you're like me, if you do a lot of sitting down, and I do in cars, I sit around in a car driving from venue to venue and place to place, this area here for me gets, gets quite sort of locked. So just the lower back and the hips and the, 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 uh, uh, the quads and all in here, the, uh, this area here, which I shall remember the name of in a minute. Hip flexor, thank you, hip flexor. And then of course that works into your hamstrings and everything there. So once that area gets tight, it's an absolute disaster. So just keep rotating, good, okay. Oh, just losing everything off. Now we're gonna do some side stretches and we're just gonna go to the side, to the side, to the side, to the side. So we're gonna do eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Should we do another eight? All right, go on, you talk me into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice, well done. Starting to get warmed up? <laughs> I think I am. All right, now we're going to talk about the core a bit today. We're going to talk about our middle, the abdominal area, because I want you to focus on this when we're doing the exercises. Because um, not to suddenly get a great big six pack, although if we get something like that, it would be marvellous. But that might take a bit of time. 
Um, but just because I want you to engage it. That's all I want you to do. Just be aware of it. That feeling that someone's going to poke you in the stomach with their feet and then you just sort of tense slightly. That's sort of not, nothing dramatic. I don't want you to get cramp in your abdominal area or in your buttocks. Just feeling that the belly button is held towards the spine. So if I'm just, just putting in, not sucking in, not dr dramatic sucking in, just a little feeling of tone. That's all it is. Or a pelvic, if you want to lift your pelvic floor, do that. Just lift from there as well. So you just engage in there. Now when you're doing the exercises, let's do the side stretches again. We're going to do another eight each side. One, two, just feel like you're engaging your core. Five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not bad. All right, we're going to do it one more time. Let's have a lift the leg. One, two, three, four, and stay on balance. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you. That was a bit random, isn't it? Out of the blue. Good for the thighs though, good just to get the thighs going, engage the body, engage the centre and keep the side stretching. This is great for this lower area here. The old love handles, you know, it comes to us all sadly. Well we're just working around the centre here just to sort of see if we can, you know, just we're not going to get them to disappear in a, in a, in a day or a week or even a fortnight but they'll start to work them and eventually they'll start to go. So Christoph, now we're going to just do some shoulders, ready? We're going to do forward rolls with the shoulders, just the shoulders, not the arms. Here we go, ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are you feeling your centre hold being held? Hold your centre. Go back the other way. One, two, three, four, five, seven, one, three. Five, seven, eight. Good. Now we're just going to swing the arms forward and backwards like this. All right. You know this isn't going to be the only thing we're doing. We're going to bend the knees as well. Oh joy! Feels like a squat. Now my old ballet teacher said to me when I was in second position, turn your thighs out. Turn your thighs out, and your feet will go. Turn your thighs out. See that? Nice plie in second. We're not going to do that. We're going to turn our knees and toes in. But the most important thing is we must keep our knees over our toes. Ooh. Now I want you to just sit on this a little bit here because I don't want the knees to go too far forward. I want the hips, over this way here, I want the hips to bend and the knees to stay over the toes. Here like this. So the hips bend. So I feel like I'm pushing from here as I'm pushing from here. And I don't feel any sort of pressure in my knees. I don't want to put any pressure on my knees. I want to take all the pressure off the joints. I want to put them on the big bits. The muscles, the glutes, through to the abs, all those areas there. They're the big bits. Starts with the feet. So turn your feet in, knees over toes, and swing the arms. So we're going to go and one, two, three, four, good, five, how are you doing? Six, seven, eight. Yes, okay, you've talked me into it. Two, three, four, lovely, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Now, of course, if any of this stuff's a bit too difficult, you can just go easy. Don't do the full bends. I'm happy if you just do half bends, just half bends, but do it with a good technique so that your hips break. So I don't want this. I don't want that feeling there. I want this feeling so the hips break because then that just engages the thighs, the quads, takes the pressure off the knees as I said and engages the, the glutes. Do this. Bend, raise, clench, release. Clench and release. <laughs> so we go, bend, clench, bend, clench, release, bend, clench, release, bend, clench, release. Ah. That's a nice little exercise. Now listen, if this is too hard for you, just do that one, the, 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 the small ones. All right, but we're going to do the arm swing again. You ready? Six, seven, 
and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What do you mean? Go, okay. I do as you command. Four, five, six, excellent counting by the way, seven, eight. Who hates those personal trainers who've got terrible memories and don't know how to count? They get on my nerves. Now, good job. Just shake that out. Shake the arms out. We're going to do some more shoulders, but this time we're going to use bigger arms. As though you're doing a butterfly at the, in the swimming pool. So you go, and one, two, holding your centre. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, if you want to, do it in plie position, in your squat. Here we go, knees over toes. If you don't, keep legs straight, it's absolutely fine. One go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going back the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that sounded a bit crunchy. So like all of these things that we're going to do, we're going to do them, either you can sort of create a bit more strain or effort, if you like, effort's a better word, or you can take some of that out and just do it a bit gentler, depending on your sort of ability or how, how, how hard you want to push yourself. So, good, lovely. Now, like all things, everything works from the base, which means we're going to have to work on the thighs a little bit. <laughs> what message are they saying? Love the, uh, I love the ab work, but can we do something where I don't have to lift my legs off the floor? I found that very difficult, the leg raises. So, okay, if I won't do that. Oh, and, and the, the lunges, I, I found them a bit difficult. Could we not do them? Oh, all right, we won't do them. Oh, and by the way, the squatting thing, that was, that was tricky. Could we, could we not do those? Right, okay. Anything else? Uh, running, anything that does running on the spot, could we not do those? Oh, right, okay. But what we can do are star jumps. Good, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do some star jumps. <laughs> what can I tell you? So here we go, just very easy. And a one, two, three, four, hold the centre, five, six, seven, eight. I think we'll do another eight. One, two, three, four, a five, six, seven, eight. Good, well done. Now, <laughs> if you want to, we're going to do some running on the spot. If you want to do it, join in. If not, do some more star jumps. So, long body, hold your centre, and just run on the spot. You ready? Here you go. Pump the arms up as well, like this. Here we go, ready? A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can stop if you like right now, if you want to carry on. Two, five, seven, eight. Turn. One more set. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> I don't know why I got so excited about that. Four sets. Must be mad. All right, good stuff. Just shake out now for a minute. Let's have a little read. Let's have a little read. I don't know if you can type whilst you're working out. Oh, Amy, a bit late joining. Oh, not to worry. You'll pick it up. While I breathe. Oh, thank you, Josie. <laughs> thank you for the comments, everybody. I love this. How are we doing? Oh, good. Lovely. Oh, greetings, Lee. Good on you, my old love. Now, we're going to do this. Oh, they are. Oh, thank you, Coney. That's very kind of you. Now... Mark from Walsall, ready and waiting. Well, I hope you've uh, hope you joined us up there, Mark. All right, good. Had a little bit of a breathe. Lovely. Now we're going to do some. Now the other day we did we did forward lunges. We did this one, and then we did we did two. All right. Today we're not going to do forward lunges. We're going to do backward lunges. So we're going to go back one, like this, and on the other leg he goes like this one. All right. Well. What can I tell you? 
So we're going to go backwards. Now again, with the lunges, if it's a bit hard on the old joints and everything, and you find it a bit too tricky, that's fine. Just do backs, just do a half lunge. Back, just to there. Back, you see that? Just to there, back. But what I want is two things. One, I want you to not put the heel down. So I want you to just go to the ball and then come back. I want you to feel like you're pressing out of your bottom. One, so engage your, your derry gur every time you do it. Don't have to bend too far. And the third thing, I said two things, I oh know, but there's three things. I want you to have perfect posture and keep that middle engaged. Everything we're doing is we're engaging the middle. So our centre and our core remains strong. All right, now if you want to make it a bit more difficult, make it a bit more difficult, you can, you just gotta bend a bit lower. But everything else applies. So if you can get this knee down, this thigh here to a vertical line, and this one here remains forward over the toe, then this is a good position. You'll take all the pressure off the joints. Here we go, ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nice balance, eight. We'll turn around and do the other side. Are you ready? And one, two, three. Now, like me, you'll find you've got one side better than the other. If that's the case, you'll just have to grip that middle a bit more strongly. Is that eight? We'll do one more. There. Good. Not bad? Now, we'll try that again. Do you make it a bit more difficult? Now, you don't have to. And keep it like that if you think it's enough. Or you can do the half one, if, you, if you're doing it nicely. But if you want to just rev it up a little bit, you can do this. We're going to do this, but this time we're going to bring the knee up. Should we try it? <laughs> Why not? Why not? It's Bay Holy Monday, for goodness sake. Here we go. And one, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, Six, seven, eight. <laughs> well done. Too much? Do the half one, it's fine. Do the half one. Here we go, ready? I'll go this way. And we go. One, two. Hold that tummy. Four, five, six. Nice balance. Seven, eight. All right, hold that tummy. Grip that dairy girl, working the thighs. Nice job, very good. Have a shake, shake the legs out. This is terrific. Well done you. I'm impressed with this, I can't even begin to tell you. Now, we're gonna do a couple of bits on the floor. We're gonna do a couple of ab bits and a couple of press up type things. But what I wanna do is this. This can be a bit too tricky for some people. Anything on the floor, back problems and sort of coccyx that stick out a bit and various other problems. So any sort of ab work can be tricky. Now I get that. People with weak backs here find difficult, any sort of lifting with the legs is difficult. Press ups can be hard. People just can't do press ups sometimes. I want to do two things. I'm going to do it on the floor in a moment, but first I want to do it like this, against a wall. Now everyone's got a wall. Or I do this thing, we're going to do tricep dips, but we're going to do them, I'm going to do them on the windowsill here. But you can do them off a chair, you can do them off the side of the sofa, the arm rather than the cushion. Do them anything you like. Now again, this is going to be very gentle. I don't want to go mad. So I'm just going to put my hand, this isn't a very low windowsill, which is good. So the further you take the legs away, the more difficult it is. But I don't want you to go like this, because otherwise you won't be able to bend. It'd be too difficult. So come in a little bit, keep your legs straight and your legs together. Keep your arms about shoulder width apart here. And you can, the higher you lift your hips, you start to engage the derry gur and the front here as well, the hip flexors, and your stomach. You've got to engage your tummy. You've got to engage your centre. Everything's about the centre. And I want you to do some dips. Now, very gentle. Here, like this. Just go like that. One. Bump into the wall. So we're going to go one. Now, these are very small ones. You can, if you've got a bit enough space there, you can just do a bit deeper. One and two. All right, should we do eight of those? Gently, gently now. Don't go mad. So we go and, one, and two, and three, 
and four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all I want. Just eight. Now I straighten my legs, that just give myself, make it a bit more difficult for me. But as I say, if you bend your knees, I'll do it from here. If you bend your knees here like this, it takes some of the weight off the arms, and so it's a little bit easier. It's a bit like doing a, a press up on your knees rather than on your feet. Tricep dips, they're terrific. They start to work here. They, it's all good. Ladies, tricep dips. I think we both know what I'm talking about. So it's a good, good thing to do. Not all about the front, not all about the guns. Let's do another eight of those. You ready? I'm going to straighten my legs, but keep them bent if you want to, and just bend with the elbows. You ready? Go as low as you want to. If you want to do half, press, half ones, I don't mind. Most of this stuff we're doing now is, I appreciate the people don't really have much, have much experience of working out. So if you're, if you're literally starting at 50 or above, somebody's 65 telling me they're super fit. Well, I'm, I am delighted about that. It makes me enormously happy. So if you're just starting or you're just coming back to it, maybe, I don't want you to kill yourself. So I, what I want you to do is sort of reintroduce yourself to, the, to, the work, to working out, but also just start to what they call fire the muscles, it's an, a term that they use. You want to be able to isolate certain areas that you want to work on, your triceps or your, your dairy girl or the abs or stuff, but you're not gonna be able to do that for lifting houses and sofas above your head, because that's sort of ridiculous. You just have to do small exercises to start with and it starts to fire everything up. So for example, I wanna work on my triceps, I'll do this tricep dip area uh, exercise off the windowsill or off a chair, everyone's got a chair, but I'll do, them, I'll do little ones, I'll just do small dips, I'll just do little ones like this. And now this focuses completely on the tricep area. And now my triceps are going, oh hello, I remember that. And the brain's going, hello, welcome. Remember this? Oh yes, this is Bob. So your body starts to have a conversation with itself. Now as you get a bit stronger, you can go a bit lower, take your legs away, straighten your feet, and then you can start to dip and do deeper dips. So let's just do eight of those, ready? One. Two, three, good. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Well done. Give yourself a pat on the back for that. That was terrific. Let's do a couple of bits of ab work. Let me go back here. I might be able to see the other way. Now, the other day, we did... If you can just, I'll give you a second to, to get onto the floor like this. I know it's like once you get down. So I do this now, you see, because if I started with this, you wouldn't get off the floor. I'm mean, exactly the same. We're going to start with this. You down? You ready? We're just going to roll. The other day, I put, I put you on your elbows like this, and I stretched your legs out, and then I just lifted your legs off the ground. This is a terrific area or workout for the upper, sorry, the lower abs. So just down here. This is the tough bit to lose. We're going to do one now for the upper abs. So I'm going to bend my knees, I'm going to lay on my back, I'm going to put my hands forward. You can put them behind your head, too hard, and also lead you to sort of bad technique. So put your arms forward, or on your thighs even, bring your head and shoulders off the floor, and just roll. And all I want you to do is put your hands from your thighs to your knees. So very, very short so I don't want to do these great big rolling press-ups, or sit-ups rather. These, oh, kind of, ooh, ooh. No, forget that. That's ridiculous. Leave that to the big strong boys. We'll do this one here. We're just doing little pulses. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That wasn't too bad, was it? Now, I don't know if you like me, I said this the other day, down here, my coccyx sticks out a little bit. So any of that sort of rolling on the mat to do sit-ups is a disaster for me. I, it ends up hurting my back. So I don't, I don't do those. I do other things, unless I've got a nice bit of padding underneath me. And this is a great way of sort of starting you off with sit-ups, certainly for the upper abdominal area. So you just feel like you engage it, you squeeze it slightly. I don't want you to put your head on the floor just, and I want you to take, the most important thing as well, is take all the tension out of the neck and the jaw. And there's no pulling. You do as many as you can. Do four, do four. 
in a few days we might even do five days after that we do six everything is a build i don't want you to have to go and try and do eight you stop when you feel uncomfortable or you can't do any more we'll do another eight so it's just that all right don't don't roll the neck i don't want any of that old nonsense i just want you to go add one two three four five six seven eight how was that not bad now we're going to do the lower abdominal again that we did the other day we're going to do the leg lifts on our, on our elbows just to uh work both ends of the uh the center and the other if you find this is too hard with the legs straight bend them and just do knee lifts two three all right so we do that let's go ready and one two three four five six seven eight go on in one two three four five six seven eight oh lovely now <laughs> please tell me we're finished we haven't finished Heavens above, we haven't finished. We're going to do this. We're going to do a thing. Now, this is ridiculous. We're going to do, we're going to do a plank. <laughs> Why? Because we love it. Now, we're going to do this. Look, I want you, because I want you to, today, I don't know if you've noticed, but we're working very much on our middle. So, but we're going to do it easy. We're not going to go mad. I don't want to kill anybody. So we're going to go easy. Now, normally you do a plank, you do it on your elbows, and you do it on a straight back, hence the name plank. We do this, and this, and this. Straight, and then we engage our centre, and hold, and hold. We're not going to do that, because it's ridiculous. But what we will do is we're going to work up to that. And I want you to time yourselves. You can do this in your own time. I want you to put a stopwatch down, or just a normal watch with the second hand. I want you to go into plank, I want, to see how, I want you to test how long you can go. Don't kill yourself, just be realistic. You can do 15 seconds, do 10 seconds, do 10 seconds, because everything is a build. And then once you uh, determine how, far, how long you can go for, then next time we try it, we try and go a bit more. Even if it's a second longer, it's a second longer. All right, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna just do it like this, with our knees off, uh, feet off the ground, our knees on the ground, and on our elbows like this. Now I want you to hold that. If you've struck, if you can't do the full one, this is fine because I want you to feel by doing that half one, you really feel like you're engaging your lower abs again in just this area here. Because I just want you to feel like that's where the pressure is, not on your brain or your thighs or your shoulders because everything else is hurting. Engage that. Then work up to the, the uh, full plank and then go from there. So. For those who, who want to do the full plank, we're going to do the full plank. We're going to hold it for, I don't know, until we get bored. So here we go. Ready? We go, and you're in. Let's count. One, two, three. Good. Four, five, six, seven, this is eight, this is eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. This is good. 15, 16. Now what I want you to do now is just twist slightly with your hips. Your left hip is down. This is the people who can do it. If you can't do it, don't do it. Just carry on as you were. This is good. Now go on the other side. Just twist the other side. That's it, good. Keeps flat. Nice. Now this just focuses on a different area of that part of the body. And good. And back to centre. Good, all right? Now, that's your plank. Now we're gonna build up to the plank, but we're gonna start off with ourselves on our knees, and then you're gonna see how you feel, try it, full plank, time yourself, see how long you can last, and then build it up. And you'll know that you're improving and your fitness is getting better, because you'll be able to stay in it longer. Very good job. Now we're gonna do a couple of press-ups. People hate press-ups. I hate press-ups. I couldn't do a press-up 
for a long time. Probably found press ups really, really difficult. As I started as a ballroom dancer, we didn't do anything that went above the shoulders. So we didn't do any lifts, really. So everything that we needed to do physical, uh, in a physical way was cardiovascular work and core work, just for basic strength. But this sort of power, we didn't need. Now, if you go to musical theatres or the, the, uh, the uh, classical world, of course, all the boys are big, strong boys. They're all shoving girls up in the air on one arm and all that sort of stuff. Marvellous. That wasn't a thing that we needed. This is something we came to much later when we started doing shows and touring shows and strictly coming dancing even, even. So where we needed to have this sort of power to do the, the, uh, the high lifts and all that sort of... One, you need good technique. And two, you need, obviously, the strength. But it comes from the legs. But you do still need this. So for me, press-ups were always a bit... I, I couldn't do many press-ups. I've got a lot better at it. So... But I had to start with the press-ups on the, on, the, uh, on the knees when I first began press-ups. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to do some of those. We're just going to put ourselves on our knees and we're going to do some press-ups. Now, before we do that, I'm going to do one more thing. If you can't do that, somebody texted me the other day and said, oh, I really can't do press-ups. I find them really, really difficult. I, I can't do them. So what I'm going to do, again, this is what we were talking about earlier, about starting to engage new muscles and starting to build, because we're building. Everyone's got a wall. I'm going to do it against this wall here. I want you to put your hands on the wall, like this. Here, elbows out. I want you to stand away from the wall. If you can create a 45 degree angle, then that's great. And then just press up against the wall. That's all I want you to do. Here, like this. Do press ups against the wall. Now you might think that's cheating. And, and if you can do press ups, then that is cheating. But if you can't do press ups, and you want to start doing press ups, this is where you begin. You start from here, then you go to here, and then you go to full press-ups. But you keep a good technique, and again, you engage your body, and you feel where the strength needs to come from. It needs to come from this area here. Not from, it's, you're better off doing this than bad ones of those. All right, so let's we'll try, start with those. And also, if you get to here, and then hold, just do half press-up and hold, this engages your centre. This is like a great way to start the plank as well. All right? So a couple of start-offs there. We'll do a couple of press-ups to finish. One more thing, and then we're done. So we'll do some press-ups. We'll do these on the, on the knees to start with here. All right? These, are the, if you can do those. Or you can do full press-ups here like this. And we're going to do eight. You ready? Here we go. And one. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight. Should do four more. All right. One, two, three, four. Marvellous. Marvellous. Well done, everybody. That was terrific. We're going to do a couple of stretches now. Actually, I'll put that, that down. Just a couple of every Every day we'll do a couple of stretches. I'll introduce you to a couple of stretches. The other day we did the hip flexor. This is very important. We talked about how everything comes from the middle of the back or the lower back. Think of this as central station, all the nerves, all the, all the, uh, um, <laughs> all the pain essentially starts from here and goes down here and it comes out the other way. So we need to be able to stretch the front in order to be able to stretch the back. So let's do it this way so you can see it better. Here we go, hip flexor, and this is one I do a lot. I do this a lot. All this driving, this is important to me. So I do this a lot. Now we're gonna do that there. I told you what people talk about as well with different sorts of stretches. Do bounce, don't bounce, hold, release, push. Just go as far as you can, breathe, and then push a bit more. Hold it for 10 seconds, hold it for a minute, hold it for 25 minutes, make a cup of tea, or you get different explanations every fortnight, but they're all basically right. To be honest with you, as long as you're doing something, eh? so go the other way for a bit. So I just want you to push your hips forward like this here. Keep your back straight, keep your back up long. Push the arm up if you want extra stretch, but keep pushing that forward. Good job. Well done. Now, I'll do this. Now this used to be an old-fashioned stretch. 
where you used to cross your legs in one in front of the other and just lean forward and it would stretch the back of your, keep the back straight, stretch the back of your knee and into your hamstring. This is a terrific stretch if, like me, you have tight hamstrings. Go the other way very quickly. It's an old-fashioned you know, old stretch, I don't see many people talking about this one anymore, but it's sort of good because it pulls in here as well. And it encourages you to stay on balance because I've got a narrow base. And so you just really focus on stretching the backs of the, for me, backs of knees. I have a nightmare, backs of knees. Make me feel a bit sick. But you've got to stretch them, so you've got to keep stretching them all the time. Thank you very much indeed. I didn't do a lot of looking on the old what's it there, did I? I think we got engrossed in, uh, in working out. Thank you very much for joining me. Absolutely wonderful. How long did we do then? I can't even... Oh, we've done quite a long time. <laughs> we did get involved. Thank you all very much indeed. I'll see you all tomorrow. Maybe for tomorrow morning at 11. We're doing Boston Nova tomorrow, if I remember. And, uh, and then I'll see you at 3 o'clock for another, another workout session. Much love. Remember, stay safe. Enjoy the sun from indoors. Much love.